Projects are a way to organise and group issues according to the type of work they entail or the wider goal to which they contribute. Your projects may be task-based, such as creating a new website for your organisation, or they could include all of the work done by a single department, like a documentation team. JIRA includes a few other ways to group issues, but projects are your main folder to hold work. So, when dividing work into projects, think big and think long term. JIRA Cloud includes multiple project templates for you to create projects. However, we're going to focus our attention on JIRA's next gen projects in this video. The other options include JIRA Software's Scrum Classic and Kanban Classic projects, as well as JIRA Core projects like Task Tracking. The classic projects use instance-wide schemes, as well as some more complex structures you'd find in JIRA Server and Data Center, but we're not going to look at those here. And note that, unless you're a JIRA administrator, you can only create next-gen projects. If you need a classic project or one of the business templates, you should go ahead and request one following whatever process your organization has in place. The next-gen projects include two templates, Kanban and Scrum. We focus on these projects to help you get up and running in your instance of Jira Cloud using this streamlined process. With Jira Cloud Next Gen, all users can create Next Gen projects by default. This means you can feasibly run Jira Cloud without any dedicated Jira admins, which could be great for small teams that just want to get started. But it also means that good management of your projects by individual users becomes essential, lest your Jira instance turn into a giant unusable mess. If you don't have dedicated JIRA admins, we recommend treating project creation as a collaborative exercise. You should check what projects are already available and discuss any crossover with other teams or departments using JIRA Cloud at your organization. For smaller organizations, a good rule of thumb to aim for. Users searching for an issue should generally be able to guess within two or three tries what project it's in. If they can't, you probably have too many projects in JIRA, or worse still, duplicate projects and you should consider implementing policies to regulate project creation, like having a number of people agree that a project's needed, or requiring manager approval. You also might need to change some of the project names to make them more intuitive. Having too few projects can be just as much of a problem, and if you find you have all sorts of different issues within a single project, it might be time to create a new one. Now on to the main event, creating a project. The two next-gen projects available to you are Kanban, and Scrum. A next-gen Kanban project gives you a board to organize your work, as well as quick tools to manage the board. And for those of you who work in Scrum, the next-gen Scrum board includes sprints and a backlog to create a simpler experience for Scrum projects in cloud. Let's take a look at a demonstration where we'll focus on a Kanban project. From your instance of Jira Cloud, click the Projects menu from the sidebar. You can also use a shortcut and press the period key and then type projects in the menu that opens. From the projects administration page, click create project. Then on the create project page, type a name for your project in the name field. For example, we use customer service department. Next, select the template you want to use for your project. Click change and then select from either next gen scrum or next gen Canva. And note that you can see a bit of a preview for each template type. For our example, we select the Next Gen Kanban. Under Access, select the access you want to use for this project. Next Gen projects have a simple permission structure that allows you to have open, limited, and private projects. Open means anyone with access to the Jira Cloud instance can create and edit issues in the project. Limited means that anyone with access to the Jira Cloud instance can view or comment in issues, but you have to add people to the project for them to be able to create and edit issues. Private means that the rest of the Jira Cloud instance can't see the project or issues, but you can add people to the project if you want them to be able to view, create, and edit its issues. Finally, just hit Create to create your project, and you're on your way. Note that depending on your global permissions in Jira Cloud, you may see more project templates or additional options. Jira admins can create some additional project types, and they can share settings between the projects. 